Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So this is part two of my fan sales order. Um, it isn't a PR package. I have paid for these items. So yeah, um, I did want to just get some items and see uh, what they were like. I wanted to get my craft letters, my C-R-A-F-T, which I've shown you in a previous video. Um, that I'm going to do in the special drill letters and put them on the wall. So that's a future project that you will get to see. And then this is the rest of the order. Um, basically because there was a special offer on that if you spent £30, if you spent £30, you could get a free random diamond painting um, or cross stitch kit free and you just had to when you added it to your basket say whether you wanted cross stitch or whether you wanted diamond painting now of course I wanted diamond painting so it will be interesting to see what we did actually get as the free gift okay so let's get into this and have a look there's quite a few to see so we have they are mainly special drill as well one diamond painting two diamond painting uh, Three diamond paintings, four diamond paintings, uh, five diamond paintings, and then this looks like this is my free gift. Ooh, so let's have a look at the free gift first. Uh, I think all of these diamond paintings and the letters that I bought were £3.49 each so that is excellent value for money and uh, what I tend to find as I've said in the past when I was first ordering my diamond paintings um, I know people look at postage and think various places you do get postage free but I always look at it yeah, if you buy 10 items and postage is £5 then if you think about it if you said to somebody oh I want to order this but the postage is 50 pence you would just buy it because it would then make the painting three ninety nine instead of three forty nine, so it's a case of not looking at the postage as a whole. Yeah, if you're just buying one painting for three pound forty nine and paying five pound postage, that is quite a lot. I mean, it's more than the painting. But if there is a few that you want and possibly save up and get a few all at once, then as I say, I ordered ten diamond paintings, five pound postage, fifty pence an item, makes every item three ninety nine instead of three forty nine which is still excellent value. And I've got a free gift as well, which is this. And it says that this, I think, was 3 99 value. So let's have a look and see what we're... Oh, this is different. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, I say. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, I do like freebies. I uh, like... Uh... Wow. Oh, oh, this is different. Okay, looks like we've got some big stickers. Right, let me just move you guys out the way over there for a moment. So we have a pen button wax as normal. And then it looks like these are all crystals. My goodness, there is a lot there. 11, 12. Okay. Lovely. Ooh, lots of bright colours. And they're Christmas stickers. Ooh, I say, let me have a look in here then. See what we've got. Right. So, oh wow, look at, oh wow, ah, I think these are like, um, to go on your windows. So we've got a part of a Santa there, um, we've got a little sled here, look, with all your parcels on, and we've got a little sack. There. These haven't got numbers and letters on, so these aren't diamond painting, these are just stickers, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got a sled there. Oh, we've got a little polar bear. Look how cute that is. We've got another part of a Santa there. So I'm wondering if these all go together because we've got like part of a gingerbread man there. Wow, this is amazing for a free gift. There is a lot here. Okay, so we've got Santa there with his ice skates on. So is that right? So you need to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Well, look. So he will go there. So we have got a full Santa there skating. We've got part of a sled there, which looks like that fits onto there. Okay, so this is really good. So these are like, I think, an A4 sheet of paper. Uh, let me just grab an A4 sheet of paper. Yeah, that's your standard printer paper. 
and yeah the maybe uh it's just slightly smaller than a4 for the uk this may be um sort of the american sizes on these okay so that's that one so we've got a full little uh, sled there and we've got a full santa there with a couple that aren't stickers okay so that's that one oh so then do we i ah, know this one goes with this one look so you've got a jigsaw puzzle with this as well so we've got a sled with uh, two rudolphs what oh, say he's got a friend uh, coming along we've got uh, some more baubles and snowflakes that don't have any gems on wow this is amazing i don't remember seeing this on the website i wonder if this is something they're going to bring out for christmas this year you know me i love christmas my house couldn't have been sparklier if it dried last year so it looks like we've got a couple of different scenes we've got the um skating santa with a skating friend there uh, we've got oh look at that one i love that so we've got another little snowman he's obviously cold because he's got a little muffler hat on and a scarf and he's bringing you a present we've got another rudolph here and his little legs there look just to join on which if you're sticking these onto something it's easy enough just as you peel them off just line them up and stick them together that's brilliant i love that idea okay so then is this part of this santa let me have a look because this is another santa yes it is look so we're joining this santa up here we need another part of the um i think that's a gingerbread man oh he's on his side isn't he i don't think that's that gingerbread man although it could be we'll see what we've got elsewhere and then we've got another few stickers look these are great for kids if you're wanting to diamond paint let the kids run free with the stickers and then you don't have to worry about them um spoiling your best things as it were <laughs> okay so that's on that one so is this oh yes look so this one's a three-parter so that goes on there and then we've got his bottom here, look, with the little snowman and his little feet. Wow. Oh, I'm impressed with these. Oh, look at that. It's a little Tweety bird and it's got a megaphone. I wonder what it's saying. It's Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Sorry, I know it is only still officially May, uh, possibly June when you see this video. But uh, yeah, you can never be too early for Christmas. If you've got lots to do, you need a lot, a, ta a lot of time. Right. So again. Oh, I like the holly. That's pretty. Okay. And then, oh, we've just got some stickers. Yay, stickers. Wow. Okay. So we have, have we got the penguin? Have I seen the penguin yet? So these are just normal stickers. I mean, if you wanted to, uh, you could either use some glitter glue to bling these up a little bit more. Um, you could use some magic glue over the top or some sealer and stick some gems onto them and bling them up. But they are just your standard stickers. And then we've got Christmas there. So, oh, look, there you are. So we have... Merry... Oh, it's in three parts, the Christmas. Oh, no, we've got Merry Christmas. Oh, that, and then that's at the end there. So we've got Merry Christ, and then we've got an ST here. <laughs> oh, where misses. So, yeah, and then it's showing you here, look. So we've got to say, three sheets of stickers, and then all of these diamond paintings as well. So we've got the, oh, I see. All oh, right. Oh, so that's a set. Ah, so underneath your Merry Christmas, you've then got your little Rudolph there. Um, you've got a little pixie or an elf. You've got Santa. And then... You've got your snowman on that one. So these, none of these at the top here, these stickers, whoops. None of these stickers at the top here have any gems on. It's just these at the bottom that have got gems on. So we've got Santa with a snowman and a gingerbread man. We've got uh, a little bird 
shouting Merry Christmas. We've got the Santa in the sleigh and then we've got Snowman, Penguin, Rudolph. That looks like a little puppy dog and the sleigh with Santa there. So they're all following along. So have we got all those? So let me have a look. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, Oh, it's not a puppy dog. I was thinking this was its ears, but no, it is a little polar bear. <laughs> so we've got those. Okay, we've got the little Rudolph. And we've got the little penguin. And then we've got the... Have we got little, oh, and then we've got the little snowman. So yeah, we've got all of them to make up and all of these stickers as well. And then all of the snowflakes. That is an excellent free gift. Oh my goodness me. Wow. And then you get to diamond paint it as well. I think if you'd have got that as a free gift and it was just stickers, never mind it being uh, to diamond paint as well. I think that's excellent value. But for £3.99, I'll have to have a look for this on the website. And then you get this really big sticker as well. Wow. I mean, you could actually use that and make that into a card. Because, I mean, it's Merry Christmas and it's quite Christmassy scene, isn't it? Yeah, you can make that into a little A6 Christmas card. Hmm, oh, I like things that you can use extras on. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these gems. Okay, so we have a 13 different crystal colours. Which start off with, wow, three packs of this gorgeous Christmassy red. We have three packs of your ice crystal clears. All nice and clear there, aren't they? And a little ice blue and a bit of brown. That's going to be for your reindeers. Your standard black there in your, uh, in your acrylic drills. You have a little bit of pale lemon. A very pale amber colour. A nice dark Christmassy green, a very dark red. And that's like a very pale lemony colour um, in your crystals there. You have a very dark blue crystal, a lovely bright orange crystal, and then just a little bronzy crystal there at the end. Wow! Thank you very much, fan cells. I love my free gift. And uh, you must know me because I love Christmas. I actually have a different email account that I use um, for sort of my PR things and for YouTube than I do for my other um, purchases. So they wouldn't have uh, associated it with my YouTube channel. So it is quite nice to see what you do actually get as a free gift. I think that is excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is number one. Just pop that out of the way a second. And then we'll have a quick look through these canvases. So these are, I think I've got two that are like a set. Uh, I think I've got, yeah, two sets and an extra one. So these are part of some of the new ones that I've seen coming out. I have had one similar in the past, but then these are some others that I wanted to get as well. Okay, as I say, when I'm getting PR packages, um, although I do like to get paintings that I like, I do also like to get some of the newer things to show you because you are sort of showcasing the company's products as well. So if there's others in like the sets that I want myself, then I do think it's only fair that I buy them myself. And I do like buying diamond paintings, what can I say? <laughs> so we have a Highland Coo and this is a special drill again. 30 by 30. I'll we'll give him a quick measure. He's gone a little bit staticky on my desk, but that's because my desk's warm. It's uh, not the painting, I don't think. Uh, standard toolkit, pembroat and wax again. And we are 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. It is all a crystal special drills. Woo! And look at that little face. Oh, oh, little nose, little nose. So, yeah, I do like to get things in sets of three. So I've already got one in this set and I've bought another two. <laughs> okay, 
So the background is the white, the same as the canvas. So they have put you um, a little uh, a slim line border around it so you can see where to cut. Uh, this one is eight different gems and colours, so not too many. And there's not a huge amount to do. The background doesn't have any crystals or any gems on it. It is just literally the middle little moo cow and the flowers around him. Oh, look. I love the little flower in his hair as well. It's gorgeous. So we have this like palish, lemony, greeny colour there. A very bright green. Your standard silver crystal. A little bit of like an amber crystal there. A very bright orange crystal. And then a little bit of a, like a palish peach crystal. And then we have all of these uh, semispheres in the gold with no facets. So I think these are going to be all these sort of uh, flowers or weeds or whatever they are at the bottom. Uh, that is really going to stand out with the oranges and golds of the cow there. That is really going to stand out. And then we've got like these ambery, uh, goldy coloured little uh, marquees, which again are going to go on all these flowers in his hair oh, I love Highland Cools I think they're really really sweet look at those little eyes oh when I see them in fields I just want to go and give them a cuddle I'm not quite sure how they'd feel about it but I'd love to <laughs> so that is number one and let's have a look at the other one I say the, there's about I think there's about five or six different ones of Highland Cows and if you do like a cow like I do then, uh, yeah, these are really, really sweet to get. Okay, so this one is, uh, this one's sort of like a little bit more realistic. This one's a little bit more cartoony, I think. Again, it's the white background. And this one, again, has eight colours the same. The flowers are actually all stuck onto the little cow's front on this one. And, uh, yeah, so this one's a little bit more cartoony I think rather than uh, that's a little bit more realistic looking but they're all going to look really pretty together i need more wall space i'm going to be moving in next door i can see just so i can use their walls <laughs> so we've got pembert and wax again and then we have our eight colors oh very nice okay so we're starting off with a very muted pale green there in the crystals and a nice bright green crystal, a very pale pink crystal, and that's like a peachy coloured crystal, a lovely bright orange, and a slightly paler orange, and then again we've got these lovely semispheres in the gold, mm. they're going to be the middles of uh, all of these flowers here, and then the flowers are actually made up of these gold marquees that have the silver backing so yeah they're going to be really pretty as well and all just blending oh look at that little face and they're super so sweet so that's our little cow set that we got and then we got another tool okay i wonder if you can guess what these are <laughs> Let's get this one open and have a look. So we have a little gonk and this is a bee one. So he's got like, similar to like a honeycomb or something on his hat. He's got a little jar of honey and we've got three bees all round him, look. And I just couldn't resist. Do you know what I'm like with uh, gonks or gnomes? Somebody's asked me about how do you know whether they're gonks or gnomes. Um, I can only tell you what I was told. And that is that uh, a gonk, you can't see the eyes. And a gnome, you can see the eyes. So there you are. And I know trolls live under bridges. <laughs> okay, so pen, bow, sand, wax again. And let's have a look at this. This one has eight different gems and colours. We'll do a quick check. I think these are all going to be more or less the same size. Yeah, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So, yeah. Again, nice to put out as a set of these. And, ooh, look, easily bright, clear crystals there in the silver. A very pale peach. A nice orangey honey colour there. 
nice yellowy colour and your grassy green oh and a little bit of like purpley colour oh that's the flowers I was going to say where's that going to go but that's the flowers then we've got two big packets of these semi-spheres in the large round gold with no facets so that's all going to be his little hat oh that's gorgeous and then the silver marquees which are going to be like the daisies here as well i just think that is so pretty none of the bees have actually got uh, any gems on them but that's fine because everything sparkling around them will just make them stand out a little bit as well so they'll be really pretty but oh and he's got antennae look as well <laughs> oh that is absolutely super yay i'll probably do his beard in the clear crystal but i might do the little flower here i might do that in an ab white um just to make it that little bit different stand out a little bit from the beard i'll have to see or i might do the beard actually in ab white because i've got a lot of ab colors and just do that in crystal um yeah i think that would possibly look better just give it a little bit more contrast but oh he sat down look he's got the bottom of his little shoes he's not bothered by these bees at all is he they must be very very friendly but he has made a jar of honey so maybe he's going to share <laughs> Okay, so that is Gonk by Moon, number one. And then let's have a look at the other one. I think this one's a bee theme as well. So I just, uh, yeah, I thought, oh, well, I might as well get the most out of my postage and I might as well spend the £30 and get my free gift as well, which is absolutely wonderful. I can't believe the free gift. That's amazing. So this one, oh, look. <laughs> okay we've got our standard doll kit there and these are little bumblebees look these are the little fat chunky ones that are all puffed up oh oh that is so sweet oh look he's embarrassed oh he's got little cheeks look little rosy cheeks oh and he's got his hands behind his back do you think he's saying i love you and he's got his hands behind his back and he's gone all red oh that is so sweet oh i love this one so look we've got two it's a shame this one's not a little girl because we could have had a little girl and a little boy and he's gone all embarrassed <laughs> oh slightly different but i still think that they're a set to go together and again there was quite a few but i just wanted the bee ones because i love my bees i don't know whether these will go in my bedroom or not with my bee theme uh, I'll have to see, because I have got quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we are all crystals again. Uh, eight colours, oh no, nine colours in this one. So let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, so we are starting with our lovely, bright, silvery, clear crystals there. Some very pale green crystals. Oh, look at those. They're black, AB coated, and they've got the blue colour on them. Um, in your AB coated Aurora Borealis coated gems, which is a standard gem with like a, an iridescent, well, with like a coating put over the top, makes it a bit sort of oil and water, northern lightsy type effect. You either get on the black one, you either get a blue or a green coating, and these are the bluey purple coating. That is gorgeous. So where's that go? Number three. Oh, that's his little trousers. <laughs> so we've got AB coated little trousers. Oh, we've then got this lovely bright orange, a lovely grassy green colour. Oh, we've got two bags of that one. Gosh, where do all the... That's number five. Oh, there's a few, but I wouldn't have thought there's two bags worth, but that's fine. Oh, we can still use extras. They've got some gorgeous little stars, which are number six. Oh, and he's got stars all over his hat, look. Oh, and then these are all the little dots, look, which are going to go all the way around here. And then these are all the number sevens. These are like um, a dandelion clock, aren't they, I think, at this side. And possibly a little bit of this side as well. And then we've got 
uh, some very long elongated uh, marquees there in silver which will probably be yep they're all going to be these daisies in his hat <gasps> and then goodness me look at all those little teeny tiny teardrops oh heck and they're all going to be these look so these little flowers these little like dandelion clocks or whatever they are are all made up of these little teeny tiny teardrops oh goodness they are going to take some doing but it will be worth it in the end because they look so sweet and it looks like these are all those as well oh, wow okay so that is a gnome number two so when i buy things i seem to buy them in themes <laughs> And then our final one is very much again a Liz canvas, another special drill. I have actually got this one in a full drill and I decided I would like to see what the special drill one looked like as well. And it is a yin yang B. Okay, so pen, boat and wax. And again, 30 by 30. We'll give it a quick measure, but it does look like it's about 25 by 25, the same as the others. And including postage work now, if you buy the 10, $3.99 each, I think they're wonderful. Cheaper than going out for a cup of coffee and a piece of cake. <laughs> and you've got these afterwards as well. The pleasure of doing them and something at the end of it. Yes. Okay, so seven different gems and colours on this one. And as I say, it is your yin and yang bees. And I did think the reason I got the full drill one is because it's different. It's different to see the bee from the side on. I think these are the honey bees, which make all the honey. Uh, they're not like the big bumble bees or the wasps, which are, uh, yeah, like the bad boys of the bee family, aren't they? <laughs> uh, bees are very selective. They only sort of come after you if you've upset them, but uh, wasps will just come after you anyway. You know, they're just the bad boys. They're just permanently in a bad mood and come after you. <laughs> That's my take on it anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, I just like these because they are more of a side view of a bee rather than looking at it flat with the wings going out. So, yeah, just that little bit different. And your yin and yang as well. Okay, so let me have a look at these. So seven different crystals. So let's see what colour. Ooh, ooh, they're different. Okay. So we've got like a, a honey gold in your crystals, a lovely ice blue in the crystals. And then we have the green AB coated black. Uh, if you look on the base of your drill, oops, go on focus, that's better. Uh, then you see the original colour and then the AB, the Aurora Borealis coating is put over the top. And that one is the greeny colour as opposed to the previous one we looked at that was the bluey colour. We've got our standard clear crystals and a lovely orangey crystal. And then, oh, look at that, purple stars. So, oh, that's different. Okay, so we have all the way around the edges of the bees of the uh, frame, we are going to have purple stars. That's a bit strange. That's a different colour than I was uh, expecting there. Hmm. Don't know whether I'd prefer maybe gold or silver. It's actually, what would probably look nice, uh, depending on what spares you've got, as you know, I always keep all my spare drills. Um, yeah, if you put probably silver at this side and gold at this side. So you've got your gold here and your silver here and your gold here and your silver here. I think that would look quite effective. I'm not sure how I feel about having sort of purple lilac -y stars on it. I'll maybe put a couple on and see what it looks like and then I'll decide. And then finally, we've got the uh, semi-spheres of the gold with no facets just to go down the middle on the honeycomb. But yeah, just all of that. Love bees. I do think this one will be going on my wall. In fact, to be honest, because it is round, I may do my little favourite trick. I know there's a lot of stars around the edges. Um, I could always put a different canvas in the middle. Well, there's an idea. Yeah, I could cut that one out. Keep the background just a second. And I could always put that one in the middle, look. So I've got a birthday 
a card one with a black background and if I position it right I know it's slightly bigger than the bees but yeah I think I could get that so that it's got all the purple stars going around the edges so there's something different to do with it so cut it out you've then got your sort of like 25 well nearly 10 centimeter square and I could make that into a card oh that would be quite sweet with the purple stars on the cards or you could just literally cut it out and keep these and then you could use them actually as card corners uh, you could you know, put a different backing on mm -hmm. different ideas I don't like to have a play you know what I'm like <laughs> But that is as it comes. So I'm not sure on the uh, colour palette with all those colours to then just throw into the mix this purple coloured star. I'm not sure about that. Okay, but that's the beauty of diamond painting. Uh, you don't have to. If you've got spares or if you don't like something, you don't have to do it. You can do your own thing. And as I say, if I cut this out, then I don't even have to use any of the stars at all. I can keep those for something else at a later date. So we've had a bit of a theme going on. We've had uh, our honeycomb yin yang bees. We've had our gnome bees. <laughs> and then we've had our little moon cows. Oh. <laughs> And then, of course, our wonderful free gift, which I think is absolutely amazing as a free gift. Wow. Uh, yeah, definitely worth $3.99, but definitely worth getting the order and just adding a few extra bits in that I did want. Uh, they weren't necessarily ones that I needed, but the ones that I did want. So, yeah, so I ended up with a very, very nice free gift and something that I will definitely be using this Christmas. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have a thumbs up, it's always very much appreciated. Thank you, fan cells, for the free gift. Thoroughly enjoyed looking at it. I really do like it. If you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below, and if you would like to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and then an all notification bell pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.